Hello, I'm Avery. And I'm Andy. And we are two-thirds of Androcles. And welcome to the studio, where we will be giving you a couple of brief updates. The first of which we should have told you almost a year ago, but we didn't, because we're dumb. <laughs> we officially have a permanent drummer. His name is CJ Gautier. He just graduated from Rowan University with me a little under a month ago. We met our freshman year. He is self-taught, and he is amazing. And we love you, buddy. Yes. We wish you were here right now. Yes. And and you hear him very prominently on the more rock-influenced tracks from the album, like like Rumors, uh, Plan B, uh, and, and also he did In Too Deep. Mm -hmm. he, he took In Too Deep and just took that to a whole other level. So we love you, CJ. Mm -hmm. uh, going, going off the album a little bit, uh, we would be remiss in not mentioning uh, the attention that that the album got, specifically Curiosity, and we just can't thank you guys enough for that because the amount of attention that we got from that video and the video itself, those were everything just sort of exploded, and it was way beyond anything that we could have possibly anticipated. Yeah. Uh, what's Curiosity at now? Like almost almost five hundred thousand streams on yeah, Spotify. It's like 450,000 yeah. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Um, but following that following that sort of burst of attention there was this sense that everything was sort of up in the air. It, there was a lot of like there was a lot of okay like what happens next because we were all we were, we were doing our own things very much so like Andy had just started his senior year at college for shout which shout out to all my Rowan beeps yeah and I had just dropped out of college so shout out to all my Miller's about beeps <laughs> uh and you know a Andy was Andy obviously because his, his workload was immense he was just very focused on school and because I had taken some time to work on a solo project I was very focused on I was I was very focused on that and I, I was working at the same time we were both working at the same time and uh, like on my end it was a lot of running around all over the place to like Syracuse to shoot videos or like like I was I was everywhere and my mind was getting stretched a bit too thin and I was just getting really stressed out and then on my end shit just started going down and just kept going down you know relationships breakups getting screwed over all that happy horse shit and uh yeah it was just an emotional roller coaster and so we took our respective stress and emotional destruction yeah. and uh <laughs> that's that's more of a you thing than well, yeah i pointed at me okay and uh we decided to write about it yeah uh it, this this particular sort of release of tension was was also a release for me specifically because I had been following following all the solo stuff that I had released. I was having a bit of writer's block and I was really having trouble connecting with the, the craft and reconnecting with my passion for it for a little while. So this, this, this new thing sort of brought me back to life and, and definitely cemented for us that we had to keep going and we had to keep creating for you guys yes and for us <laughs> and for us yeah. but also for you guys so like uh while while this was all sort of like coming together i was constantly traveling like i said so i was always on trains and every time that i was on a train i would end up just producing on my phone and just like this the stuff that was coming from it was was very weird it was it was coming from like a place that i wasn't really aware of and it was very different from what I was working on at the time with my solo stuff so I it sort of just sat for a while and I didn't know what to do with it and then when when this new thing came together I realized that that they had to be for this like there's no there's nothing else that 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 could be then so <laughs> All of this culminates a great into some news. 
we got new shit coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. we, have, we will have a total of three EPs coming out within the next year. Yeah. So keep an eye out for those. Follow us on our social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you got. All that good stuff. Follow us on Bandcamp. Go to our website. Subscribe to our email list because we can send out some pretty cool emails that give you some updates and some pretty cool deals. Yeah. Um, so the first EP that we'll be releasing is with the beats that Avery had made on those trains. Um, they all kind of follow a very simple theme, not necessarily simple, but they follow both an audio theme and a lyrical theme. Yeah. And, and you'll, you'll see that once it's released this summer. Yeah. We, we tried to work as much as we could with the voice as an instrument. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of sampling, there's a lot of modulation, and we really worked hard on taking the story and the music and very much making them one and the same thing. And I think you guys are really going to like it. Yeah. And so one of the songs off that EP, uh, named Someone, will be coming out this Saturday, June 8th, at midnight local time. So when the clock strikes midnight for you... Go on Spotify, go on Apple Music, whatever whatever the hell you got, yeah. <laughs> and listen to it, share it, tell your friends, tell everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's a bop. It's a bop. We really made a bop. Yeah. And so the next two EPs are not necessarily new music. Yeah. Though though one of them uh, is, is a lot of older stuff that we did not end up releasing there were things that we were thinking might go on the album and then we decided against it maybe it just wasn't the right feel or maybe we already had too much on the album and it was already an hour long and we <laughs> were like all right i know yeah um and then the last ep that we will be releasing in the next year will be sort of like a nostalgic type ep yeah like like we've we've grown a lot as artists since Especially our very early recordings, like the first the first couple of EPs. That was like two years ago. Yeah, that was like we we were working with almost baseline knowledge. <laughs> so um, we thought it would be cool to take what we did then and almost uh, revamp it and take another shot at it with the knowledge that we have now. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are really going to enjoy what we have coming up. If you have any questions, if you guys want to reach out. There is a contact us page on our website. Yeah. You can find our email somewhere. I'm sure yeah. we'll and put gonna... we'll put uh, our Instagram handles, Twitter handles, all that stuff. Our email in the description. So look at that below. Mm -hmm. And we really can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us over these past two years. So keep an ear out, keep an eye out. We hope you enjoy what we got. Yeah, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you guys. Bye.